In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to separate out a function from a C++ file into a standalone header file that we can make into a reusable file for other applications. So in this example, my program is designed to generate and return and display a random number. So I'm just going to run this so that you can see what the output is and then we can compare that to what happens with it after we finish. So it's generated a random number and displayed it here on my screen. So what I'm going to do now is separate this function out into its own separate header file. So to do that, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to add a new file in my project and it's a Visual C++ header file and I'm going to just call it random number dot h. Right, we use the dot h extension for our header file. So it's going to add it. You can see that it added it under the header files folder here and I still have my random stuff C++ file. So now what I'm going to do is take the things out of this file, my CPP file, that my header file will use to generate the random number. So I'm going to remove these two include files, which are used for random number generation, and I'm going to paste those in here. Then I'm going to move back. We don't need the function prototype in here. And then the last thing we need from this file is the actual function for get random number. So I'm going to cut this out and switch back to my header file and paste this in. And then I'm going to save it. So this is everything that our header file needs, right? The C time and C standard library are used by the random function in order to generate a random number. I'm going to come back to my random stuff CPP file. And now I, you can see that this is showing me an error message here. It, uh, it thinks it's unidentified. It doesn't know what it's referring to. And what I need to do is to come back up here and like we have include other files, we're going to include the random number.h file. And so when these are user defined header files, we use double quotes. And when I do that, you can see it pops up and it recognizes that random number.h is already in our project file. So I can just select that to save a little bit of typing. Now also, too, as a reminder, there's no semicolon at the end of this include line, so don't put one in there as that would be a source of an error. So now let me save this. And this is, now that you can see that the underline here is gone, it's making the connection to our include file. And now I'm going to run this and see what our result is. Okay, so it returned and printed out a random number. So the difference in this is that we're saying, okay, go out and include the random number header file. And that gave us access to these other include files and our function for generating the random number. The random number is returning our random number as an integer and it gets sent back to our random stuff CPP file so that in here it knows what random number is it gets the value of the random number and assigns it to the number and then we use a cout statement to print it out